If I ask you what you did yesterday, you probably forgot. If I ask you how you've progressed in the past two months, you probably can't tell me. If I ask you, when was the last time that you just sat and thought for 20 minutes about who you are and who you want to become, you probably cannot tell me. You're not the person that you dream of being. You're not the person that you thought you were going to be two months ago. You're not even the person who goes to sleep and says thank you every single day. So who even are you? When I say identity, you probably look at me with a blank face and tell me to get straight to the point. But in my opinion, that is the point. Because when I say identity, I almost get chills down my back. In the same way that I get chills when I used to say conquer. It would just be motivational and inspirational and I would say it when I was younger. And that's why every single time that I end a video, go out and conquer. Every single time that you look at my profile, the banner will be conquer. Because that is what inspired me. And now it's the same thing with identity. So what is the difference between me and you? Why do you look at me and think about how identity is like, okay, so, so what? But I think it's such an important part of my life. I'm going to give you my definition. My definition is that identity is literally only the average of your behavior. It's not your experiences. It's not the limitations you have. It's not um, your gender, race, whatever you think. It is simply the average of your behavior and this is kind of a double-edged sword the reason why you are not a great person why you have doubts and insecurities about yourself is not because of anyone else it's not because of your environment it's because you chose to act in a certain way that internalized was you but also there's another side to identity it tells you that you can become whatever you want to be Whoever you want to see yourself as, whoever you actually want to be in the world, all you have to do is act like that person would. I used to think, and you can call this whatever you want, but I used to think that people were just above me. Like, I would see other people in my class, and I would just think, I can't talk to them. For no reason. But one day I was like, I want to be a charismatic person, so what am I going to do? I'm going to tell myself I'm a charismatic person, and every time I have the opportunity, I'm going to ask myself what a charismatic person would do. So I go in the class, right? What would a charis I asked myself, what would a charismatic person do? The answer is, smile. So I just start smiling. I asked myself again, what would a charismatic person do? Greet the first person I see. So I greet the first person I see. And instead of just going to talk to the one person I wanted to talk to, I'm warming up with other people, if that makes sense. Understanding this definition strips the power from all the limitations. Because now we have this identity that is only comes from how you act which means that if you act in a way that breaks those limitations and you actually do it in the real world you find that nine out of ten times it was just in your own mind that you had that limitation you can become whatever you dream of being and you can tell me oh yeah it's hard of course it's gonna be hard of course you're gonna have to put in work if you want to be someone that is a great person, that is inspirational, obviously they put in work, it's gonna be difficult. I didn't wanna make this video right now. I didn't feel motivated, but guess what? What did I tell myself? What would an inspiration to many thousands of people, what would that person do? Because that's the person I wanna become. I wanna be an inspiration to hundreds of thousands of people, be a mentor and guide people and help them. What would that person do? He wouldn't just sit there and say, oh yeah, today's not the day. I know a couple of you in here would like to be a millionaire. Why don't you ask yourself, what would a millionaire who lost it all act like every single moment maybe it could be pause this video and they would go outside and find opportunity maybe it's like the farmer's market that's not getting that much attraction these days so you would go out and you would advertise for that farmer's market you'd say they have the best produce it's going to be completely organic it's going to be absolutely great for you it's not going to be processed like in grocery stores maybe some people will go you keep doing that maybe for two weeks you do this completely for free and then you go tell the vendor at the farmer's market hey, I got you all these people who came and bought from you. Do you think it would be fair that I get a percentage of the people that I send you? And obviously they're going to say yes because that is just more people that you're sending them. And then you get other people to fill in those spots and now you have something that is making you money by itself. And that all came just because you asked yourself, what would a millionaire who lost it all do? If you just sat here, even if you went out and did that, you probably wouldn't have worked for free. Why? Because it is hard. It's hard to actually put in the work and realize that you're not getting anything from it but a millionaire who lost it all would say oh it's fine if i lose this time right now as long as i create this partnership that can be something that is fruitful and does well in the future so every single day that you wake up i want you to ask 
who is the person that I want to become and what would that person do right now? And ask yourself at every single moment, what would the person that I want to become do? And if you keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that on an infinite timeline, you will become that person because your identity is tied to how you act. I hope you got some value from this video. Go out and conquer.